Welcome to our design and manufacturing facility in Ellington, Connecticut. I'm Everett Skinner IV, and today we're going to be talking about our design and engineering process. We have our own staff of licensed engineers and designers who can handle all the design for your project. Our engineers are licensed in over 27 states and work all across the country. Here's our design team and this is where all of our projects start. We have Sam here working on a custom home project in Union, Connecticut. Jim is our design manager and he's working on a 10,000 square foot timber frame party barn right now in Iowa. Big Gambrel Barn. Barbara is working on a timber frame wedding venue facility in Missouri. What's also nice is we do all of our designing in 3D, which helps you realize your project and see the full dimensions of what your project will look like in the end. Today we're on site at Great Country Timber Frames in the shop. This is a very busy place. It's one of the most advanced timber framing facilities in the country. We cut all of our timbers on a state-of-the-art CNC machine. We actually have two of these machines cutting timbers. We are running two machines, two shifts. All the timbers get roughed out on the CNC machine and we cut it piece by piece. You can see all the different components that go into it. These machines are very precise. All of the cuts, all precise to with a hundredth of an inch. Once it comes off the machine, we hand number each piece and we send it over here to finish all the timbers, baby bottom smooth with 100 grit sandpaper. We have timbers all over the place in here going to all different parts of the country. Everything we do is all authentic timber frame held together only with oak pegs. Here you can see a tenon perfectly shaped, rounded over at the edges. That gives it about 30% more strength. Every timber frame shop needs good tools. Our toolbox is the CNC machine. It's equipped with chainsaw blades for slotting, a big huge saw blade for cutting, dovetail joints, all of our milling bits, drill bits. This machine does it all. So one question we get asked a lot is how often do you change your tools? Well, we do it quite often, usually every couple days. Here's our tool catalog, and we have spares of every tool that we sharpen, send out for sharpening, keep them super clean and super sharp. A typical barn project like this would take about three to four months to cut by hand. We can cut one average barn project in three to four days. That is amazing. One of the other really neat things is we have cameras mounted looking right at the CNC machines. That allows us to send you a live video feed of the machine cutting your timber frame project no matter where you are in the country. That's our way of keeping you a part of the project. With all these timbers in the shop, sometimes it's hard to keep track of what part goes with what project. Well, we make that easy. One machine gets cut and marked with red marker. The other machine gets cut and marked with a black marker. That way we can keep track of how everything's flowing through the shop. We run one of the cleanest timber frame facilities around. We sweep the floors and clean it twice a day. You can eat off the floor when we're done. A successful project starts with great scheduling. Our production schedule is mounted live right out in the shop, which keeps everyone on task and know what job is coming up and get, needs to get done in the following week ahead. Today we're talking about joinery. What is joinery? Joinery is the art of connecting timbers with only wood to wood connection. It's an old time tradition to connect timbers in the old days with wood pegs and mortise and tenon joinery. That's exactly what we do here at our facility at Great Country Timber Frames. All of our timber frame projects are connected with mortise and tenon with oak pegs, no nails, the old traditional way of connecting and building structures. It's a lost art, it's something that we have perfected and we're actually using a perfect blend of modern technology with our CNC machine and old time tradition. When it comes to timber framing, joinery is everything. So I'll show you a couple different types of joinery we do here at our timber frame facility. The mortise and tenon is practically the simplest form of mortise and tenon joinery. We have the hole here for the one inch oak peg that's gonna hold the joint together. Another common type of joinery we use is dovetail joinery. All of our dovetails are perfectly rounded over. These here wall nailers, which will accept the vertical siding. This dovetail here is gonna be used in a floor joist. Another common type of joinery is the tongue and fork raptor peak. 
you can see here, this is gonna be a rafter where the two come together. You've got the fork and the tongue here, which will come together and be held with two oak pegs. One important thing to note is that we house all of our mortise and tenon joinery into the post. This is important because as the timber shrinks, you'll never see any gapping or shrinking as the timber dries out. The machinery allows us to do much more complicated timber frame joinery than a conventional hand frame timber shop. Here you can see examples of that with rounded over dovetail connections, scarf joints, and everything all true mortise and tenon authentic joinery. Today we're going to talk about the difference between post and beam and timber frame. These are two interchangeably used terms, but they have some differences. So post and beam typically means it's two pieces of timber connected with metal plates with no joinery. Timber frame is actually the art of connecting timbers together with only wood connections like oak pegs. All of our timber frames are true timber frame connections. Even though we use the term post and beam, everything we do is true timber frame all cut on our state-of-the-art CNC machine. That is what you want, the oak pegs, the joinery, the real old-fashioned way of timber framing. Even though we use the term post and beam quite a bit, that's because it's more common knowledge. But you should know everything that we do is all true, authentic, mortise and tenon, timber frame construction. How do you choose the best type of timber for your project? The two most popular options by far would either be an Eastern White Pine or a Douglas Fir Timber. Eastern White Pine is gonna be your most cost-effective solution. This all comes from the East Coast where we're located from the best forests in upstate New York, New Hampshire, and Vermont. Eastern White Pine has a beautiful white, clean finish to it with good strength characteristics and is suitable for many barns and homes. If you're looking for a little higher end finish, a Douglas fir timber may be worth considering. Douglas fir comes from the west coast, mostly from Washington or Oregon in those states. Douglas fir is a little more reddish tint to the timber. It's also a little stronger in bending, about 30% stronger in bending. Douglas fir is a very nice choice for custom high end homes or commercial projects. We make a lot of sawdust when we're cutting these timbers. So what do we do with all? We turn it into reusable burning timber pucks. All of the timber that comes off the CNC machine goes up this conveyor and into a shredder. All the chunks of the timber are ground up into small shreds that we convert into timber pucks. Let's go take a look and see how they're made. All of our timber pucks are pumped into the shed from a special machine made in Germany that takes sawdust and compresses it into these briquettes made of only sawdust, no glue or no fillers. On this turntable, we spin and we make about four or five bags of these a day. It's in a sustainable way. We are reusing all of the byproduct from our timbers. So you're all probably wondering, where can I get some of those timber pucks? Well, you're in luck. We sell them at our Great Country Timber Frame location right here in Ellington, Connecticut. They are great for campfires, wood stoves, and make a nice long burning flame. Today we're talking about timber frame kits and what makes our kits the best. Well, it all starts with the finest quality pine timbers, hand selected, only the best of the best. And then all of our timbers get cut on a state-of-the-art CNC machine. That ensures that your kit is gonna fit super snug and super tight. It also allows us to handcraft all true mortise and tenon, authentic timber frame joinery with oak pegs. We also have the most complete kits. All of our timber frame kits come complete with all of the timbers pre-numbered. The wall nailers framed out for your doors and windows. When you purchase a timber frame kit from us, you'll really appreciate the clear 3D rendering showing where all the numbers of all the pieces and a clear diagram showing where every piece goes in the project. 
We also hand sand and hand finish each piece and it gets checked with a strict quality control to ensure your kit is gonna fit perfectly and you're gonna have a great time doing it. Today we're gonna talk about the toolbox that you're gonna get with your timber frame kit. This is handmade by our craftsmen at our facility in Ellington, Connecticut. Inside this toolbox are all the specialty timber frame tools you'll need to successfully raise your project. First, we include a nice timber frame mallet for pounding in all of the oak pegs. We also include lifting straps, two lifting straps, as well as a come along to pull the timbers together. Also in the toolbox, we're including a sharpening tool. This tool put perfectly rounds over the edges on all the oak pegs as you assemble them. Also, we include a couple wrenches and with a spot end. This can be put into the old empty peg hole as the brace comes in to hold it into place temporarily. We're going above and beyond the extra mile to ensure that you have a successful timber frame raising process. 